Okay, so welcome to today's Webinar Wednesday webcast. Today my topic is going to be the top 10 add-ons for Google Forms. So the main topic for today is Google Forms and ways that you can take Google Forms and make them even more super useful than they already are. I'm Carla Kuyper, Director of Technology Integration. If you have any questions about any of the subjects or um, resources shared in today's webinar, please reach out to me. I'm at kkuyper11 at ebrschools.org. I'm a proud Google for Education certified trainer, and you can also reach out to me um, by telephone at the EBR Professional Development Center as well. Be sure to check out um, our team's website. We're at ebrschoolsedtech.org. Subscribe, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be back up. And also follow us on Twitter at edtechebr. And I will be sharing um, a link to this slide deck in the chat box in just a few moments so that you can come in and get all these slides and get all of these hyperlinks. Um, today's free webinar is part of a series. And um, this uh, spring, we have a series of webinars going. Today's topic, again, is Google Forms. The next um, week on February 28th, I'm going to be talking about Common Lit. And then on March the 7th, I'll be talking about student blogging and publishing. But you'll see that we have an, an entire calendar of events going all the way through to the end of the school year and hopefully something for everyone. You can register for any webinar on Go Sign Me Up. So this webcast is going to be worth one COU. So if I have your, you signed in with your name or your email, um, you will get one COU for today's professional development. This webcast is being recorded. It's going to get posted on the EBR EdTech YouTube channel and um, feel free to use the chat tools to ask a question. If at any point you lose the audio or the video, my screen, you can dial into this webcast and I will stop for a moment and put that information in the chat box so that you can dial in. Also, today's materials are located at HTTP, Tiny CC, Forms Add-ons, and I will be putting that link into the chat box as well. So if you are watching this today, you can follow along, or if you're watching this in the future and you need to access the materials from today's webinar, you can easily do that at the link that you see. So Quickly to cover the agenda for today, I'm going to talk about Google Forms add-ons, what they are, talk about why you should use Google Forms add-ons. I'm going to demo how to find um, add-ons and briefly how to use add-ons, talk about how you can get started and also how you can remove add-ons from a Google Form. So to get started, let's talk about add-ons. Google Forms add-ons and add-ons in general are programs that run inside of applications. And in the case of Google, they run inside of applications like Google Slides, Docs, Sheets, and Forms, just to name a few. The purpose of an add-on is to allow you to do more with things like Google Docs or Sheets or Slides by adding features and services that aren't already there. And in many cases, the add-ons are built by third parties. So having said that, you should certainly test out any add-on that you see in this webcast or any add-ons that you see when I take you to the area where you'll be able to see add-ons prior to um, launching them um, in a form and sending it out to participants. Why should you use add-ons? Because think about it, Google Forms already has a ton of wonderful features. There are things like quizzes. There are things like uh, you can use Google Forms for polls. You can use Google Forms for question and answer, for surveys. There's so many different question types. Um, Add-ons just make them better and they add features that may be missing. 
when you look at a Google form, and I'll just pull up a blank Google form, there are so many wonderful question types that you can set up. And Google continues to pack features into this application. So you can do so many different things with Google Forms, especially um, turn on the feature to turn a Google Form into quizzes. And you can do a variety of grading um, options within Google Forms. So let's start looking at ways to add features to Google Forms. And to find add-ons for Google Forms, you have to first open up a blank form, or you can open up a form that you already have, and you want to go to the three dots at the top right. A menu will open, and you'll select add-ons, and I'll demo this live in just a moment. I'm assuming, um, starting out, that you have a Google account, personal, or Google for Education account, and I'm assuming starting out that you're familiar with how to access Google Forms within your personal Gmail or your Google for Education account. So switching over live, you can access forms at forms.google.com, and this will take you to the Google Forms front page. I really like going through here, especially if you're new to Google Forms, because one thing you'll notice right away is that it lines up all of your most recent forms. You can also see the template gallery, and the template gallery is packed with forms that you can start off without having to start from scratch. So you'll see there are things like event registration forms, course evaluations, exit ticket forms, um, RSVP forms. These are basically forms that are all ready to go for you. All you need to go in and do is customize the information that you see within that form. I'm going to open a blank form for the purposes of, of today and show you how you can access the add-ons feature. So at this stage, I've got a blank form or a blank quiz, nothing much going on here. And you can see I've got the quiz um, feature turned on. I can turn it on or turn it off. And I'm going to go to the three dots at the top right for more features and more options. And then I'm going to mouse down until I come to the little puzzle piece and the add-ons area. When you do that, you're going to notice that a new window will open, and you'll suddenly start to see that there are a lot of add-ons for Google Forms, and they add various features to Google Forms that aren't already there. One popular add-on that's one of my top 10 is email notifications, and there are several add-ons that do this. Another one that you'll see are um, a form confirmation emails. So it produces a confirmation email for Google Forms. What that means is that when a person that you send the Google Form to fills out the form, you will get a confirmation that that person filled out the form, and they will also get a confirmation that they filled out the form. Now, this can be really useful when you're collecting information from fellow teachers or students or parents in a Google Form, and you need to follow up with some action um, when folks fill out the form. So as you can see, I just clicked on it. And if I want to add that add-on to my Google Form, I can click the blue button. If you see a message when installing an add-on to choose an account, go ahead and select the account that you're using, your personal Gmail if that's the one you're using, or your 
Google for Education account if that's the one you're using. You may see some messages that says things like this add-on wants to manage files and folders in your Google Drive. That's okay. That's a big part of what add-ons do. So say allow. And once you see um, a confirmation at the top of your screen, then you'll know that that add-on is installed. Once you have an add-on installed, you can go to the puzzle piece and find that add-on and use it. And you can see on my screen, I've got several um, different add-ons that I use. So just to take you back through, um, a couple of other things that you can do when you open that add-on window is that you can search the add-on, um, add-ons for Google Forms, and you can also filter and only see certain add-ons so that you can find add-ons that target specific topics. I just walked you through the process of installing an add-on. Make sure you click that blue button. And then um, I just took you through the process of hitting that puzzle piece um, to the left of all of your settings once you get the add-on installed. So let's try it out. I'll quickly demo how an add-on works by uh, getting a Google form to send an email to someone each time they complete it. So I'm going to go back live. I'm going to hit the add-on that I just installed and configure some confirmations. So I'm going to have this, this form each time someone fills it out. Send me a, um, an email. And I can choose to have it uh, send me a PDF. And then I can hit save. And so then each time someone fills this form out, I will get an email notifying me that someone has filled out the form and also the responses that they gave. Um, I also want to make sure that I show you how to remove an add-on. So if you install an add-on and you decide that you don't need it anymore, you can go back to the three dots, select add-ons again, and then you can always find an add-on that you've installed because it'll have the green check mark. And instead of a blue button to say install or the price where it says free, you'll see a green button that will say manage and you can click that. And it will give you the option to remove. So I'm going to go right here to remove and remove that add on from my Google form. And once it's removed, you'll see that it switches back to blue. Okay, in this next segment, I'm going to talk about some add-ons that I use and why um, teachers around the district are using them, why I use them, why teachers around the district use them, and a lot more. So one of them we just saw, email notifications. It gives you an email message containing the form responses every time someone completes it. Very useful when you want to send um, a customized email to someone who completes a form, maybe to parents, to students, or to um, fellow teachers. Another great 
Google Form add-on. It's called Doc Appender. And what Doc Appender does, it was a little confusing to figure this out at first, but it adds Google Form responses to a Google Doc. So it takes the Google, um, it takes a Google Form and then it selects, it uses the Google Form to select which document in your Google Drive and it actually adds the responses to that document in your Google Drive. So it's very useful. Especially if you have a list of files and you want um, people working on a Google Form to select which file. So it will designate a file to select just like you see on my screen and the choices will populate from document titles in a folder. And then the responses that you have on the form will go to that Google Doc. So very useful. A third awesome add-on for Google Forms is called Check It Out. Check It Out creates a, will help you create a Google Form with a question for items that you have in inventory and then one question for things that you check out. It actually moves the items that you have in between the questions when someone submits the form. So there are teachers around the district using Check It Out to manage their classroom um, library checkout or classroom equipment checkout or you can use it for anything that you would have um, to check out. So you could see how that would be very useful in the classroom, in a school library, in a school office, um, school athletic equipment. You can use the Check It Out extension, or I should say add-on. A fourth Google Form add-on that is very useful is called Form Ranger. And what Form Ranger does is that it creates a multiple choice list, a multiple choice question list, checkbox, or grid from a column of values in a Google spreadsheet. So it can be very useful when you have a Google Form and you have a lot of options to type. So instead of typing option one, option two, option three, um, let's say you have 10 or more options to add to your Google Form. You can use Form Ranger and Form Ranger can populate all of these options for you from a Google Sheet. As long as you have a column, a Google Sheet set up with a column of different values, so this could be different students' names, this could be addresses, this could be anything that you would have in a column. You can um, go in and get the um, information from from your student roster, for example. So you can see I just changed this, changed this to my student roster. Rather than type in all of those options. So it saves a ton of time. Number five on the top 10 list is an add-on called Choice Eliminator. And what it does is it eliminates options from a multiple choice list, from a multiple choice question, a list, or even a checkbox. It's a great option in the classroom if you have students signing up for time slots, to uh, maybe to participate in an activity, um, maybe for the science fair, or having students pick a topic. Because what it does is that it, will, it starts to eliminate from the options that you have. So when someone selects the option, it eliminates the one that someone just selected. So really handy. Number six is called Form Template Creator. So if you have a Google Form and other teachers want to copy your Google Form, it will quickly allow other people to copy your form to their Google Drive. So that one is Form Template Creator. And basically what it does is it generates a URL and it makes it very easy. As soon as anyone uses that URL, it generates a copy for that 
person that they can add to their Google Drive. The next uh, add-on that I really like and use is called QR Code Maker, and I hear from teachers throughout the district who are also using this one. It generates a QR code for your Google Form, which can be great when you're not sharing a Google Form inside of Google Classroom. Um, you can post forms in Google Classroom and students can access them just fine, but in many cases when you're sharing a Google form with people who aren't inside your Google Classroom, then things get a little bit more interesting. And so being able to generate a QR code that they can scan and pull up your form and fill it out and submit the results very quickly is a lifesaver. So here's the link to the add-on. And you can see this is how it creates the, um, the, the QR code. I'm going to go ahead and install that one on this account. It's going to ask for my permission to run, so I'll say continue. Again, when you see that um, it wanting access to your account, you can go ahead and say, yes, it says that the app isn't verified by Google, only proceed if you know and trust the developer. And I, I do because I've used this um, add-on before. It's going to ask to connect to my Google Drive, and I'll allow. So I'm going to create a sample question. And let me make that a multiple choice. And you can imagine if I was creating more um, options here, then I'm going to go and start the add-on. And it's going to give me a QR code of my form, and here it is. So here's the, here's the hyperlink that I could share. Here's the QR code. I can even add the QR code into the form as well. And it can take a minute or two for the QR code to pop up. There it is. I also like an add-on called Form Scheduler. There are two things that I like to do with Form Scheduler. It will take your Google Form and it will stop accepting responses once it hits a certain number. So if you want students to sign up, you want students to sign up and let's say you only want 15 students or the first 15 students to sign up, you can set form scheduler to stop accepting responses at a certain number. And you can also tell um, form scheduler when you, when you add it into your Google form to stop collecting responses on a certain date. So if you tell your students that they have until Friday to sign up, you can set form scheduler to turn the Google form off on Friday. Another um, handy option is called Form Publisher. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's not so bad. You can turn answers from any Google form into a Google Doc, Sheet, Slide, or PDF. And many teachers use this add-on to create classroom certificates. I'm going to share one more, and it, this one is called App Sheet. And App Sheet's kind of interesting. AppSheet is an add-on that will allow you to build a very quick mobile app from a Google form and the responses that you have. There's no coding involved. Data 
actually got a little bit more attitude out of it. And after the year of appeal, this is exactly what the Office of Wildlife and Public Housing is now using. So, and you can see, um, it actually creates some, some good looking, very easy to create mobile apps that you can, um, or that students could create using Google Forms. So, just another option that you have for Google Forms. So, what I'm going to do at this point, um, I'm going to stop talking and then I'm going to open it up for questions and see if you have any questions about Google Forms or about add-ons. All right, any other questions? I was going to show you live, but my Google, my Go Guardian was running kind of slowly. All right, well, if you don't have any additional questions, I want to thank you for joining in today. The link to the materials is up on the screen again, and once again, it's in the chat box. Reach out to me if at, and for any reason you need a copy of today's um, slide deck or you need um, links to anything that you saw today. This webinar is worth one COU. You'll receive credit and go sign me up for attended. Feel free to reach out to me after today at kkuyper11 at ebrschools.org or please call the EBR Professional Development Center at 226-4800. I'm going to hang around for a few more minutes, um, allow you to explore the slide deck and answer any questions.